Hello and welcome back to this channel. This is Professor Rajesh Varapte, a book author of 25 plus engineering books. Dear students, today's topic is Maximum Power Transfer Theorem. It is abbreviated as MPT. This is the topic related to second year ENTC uh, subjects. We'll discuss the statement. In this video, we'll be learning the derivation or explanation of MPT, Maximum Power Transfer Theorem and I will also uh, tell you how to attempt the numericals as far as this theorem is concerned. So the statement is the maximum amount of power will be delivered to the load resistance RL. Now consider a complex network. What is complex network? A network which contains some sources. Sources means voltage source, current source and, and along with some resistance. RL is a load which is connected across this complex network. Then a load resistance RL, the, if the value of RL, this is the load resistance RL which is connected to the complex network, if the value of RL is equal to Thevenin's resistance RTH of the network supplying power. What is this? We can well reduce this complex network using Thevenin's theorem into a simple network which will contain one voltage source that is abbreviated as VTH and in series with the resistance called Thevenin's equivalent resistance. RL is connected as it is. Dear students, if you haven't yet watched the video of Thevenin's theorem, do watch it. Uh, I will provide the link of that video in the description box. So the statement is very clear. If we convert this complex network into equivalent network, we'll be getting the diagram like this. VTH, Thevenin's equivalent voltage in series with RTH, Thevenin's equivalent resistance. Then if the mathematical condition RL. RL is what load connected to the complex network. If RL is equal to RTH, there will be maximum power transfer theorem or maximum power transfer takes place from the given network to the load. Now, let us discuss the explanation of this theorem. The explanation is pretty simple. We have only one condition that the load resistance must be equal to the Thevenin's equivalent network which supplies the power. Now we know the well known formula according to Ohm's law I is equal to V by R. I is current, V is voltage, R is resistance. So in this case we can write this I is equal to V means VTH upon RL plus RTH. From where I got this equation, refer the Thevenin's equivalent diagram. What we have drawn, we have one voltage source that is VTH in series with Thevenin's resistance that is RTH and then the load is connected. This is the load resistance RL. Now, from this diagram, if suppose this is the current which is flowing through this circuit, that is current I, we know the basic formula I is V upon R. In this diagram, VTH is the only voltage source, so I have written V in VTH in place of V. R means these two resistors are in series because they are in same wire connected one after the other. So it becomes RL plus RTH. But we have the condition, just now we discussed, for maximum power transfer, RL must be equal to RTH. So instead of RTH, I will write RL because this is the condition. So equation can be modified as I is equal to VTH upon RL plus RL. What I did in place of RTH, I have uh, uh, put the value of RL. That means RTH is replaced by RL. Now, to make the thing simple in this diagram, since this I is the current flowing th through load resistors, I will denote this current by IL just for the simplicity. IL is called as the load current. So this current is the load current IL. So this can be simply written as VTH upon RL plus RL means 2RL. Now, what we are interested in? We are interested in deriving the expression for maximum power which will be delivered to the load. Now, basic equation of power is equal to V into I. This is one equation voltage into current or another equation of calculation of power is I square R. Let us make use of this equation. So I need to calculate the power. That power 
is to be maximum so i will denote this power by p max this suffix max just indicates it is the maximum power so it is i square r i am using this formula i square r in this case i means il so it becomes il square r so i will simply put this value vth upon 2 rl this is the value of il take the square into r r means rl in this case because r means the resistance resistance is the load resistance across which i want to calculate how much amount of power is dissipated so i am putting value of rl in place of r this is the basic formula okay same thing i can well simplify it as vth square upon 4 rl square into rl so very simple this rl and one rl gets cancelled so p max becomes vth square upon 4 rl this is the value of maximum power that can be transferred to the load under the condition rl is equals to rth do remember if this condition is not satisfied this equation will not be valid now just for your information is really 100% power gets transferred to the load in practical cases no in practical cases only 50% even if we say ki 100% or maximum power is delivered maximum is not 100% practically only 50% of power is transferred to the load what about remaining 50% remaining 50% will be dissipated across rth do remember in this formula to calculate p max we have taken only rl because we are interested in calculating what is the power dissipated across rl so only 50% power will be dissipated across rl remaining 50% will be dissipated across rth this is the statement and uh, explanation of uh, maximum power transfer theorem we will solve few numericals to get an idea how to make use of this theorem let us solve the numerical question is find the value of load resistance to get maximum power transfer rl is called as load resistance now very simple trick in this numerical it is not asked to calculate how much amount of power is uh, uh, transferred to the load you just have to calculate the value of rl to get rl is load resistance to get the maximum power transfer now we know the condition for maximum power transfer condition is rl is equals to rth what does this mean it means simply we have to calculate rth that will be value of rl to get the maximum power transfer how to do it rl uh, is equals to rth and rth is thevenin's equivalent resistance recall the steps what we studied in earlier videos to calculate rth first step remove rl then from this point from where you have removed rl you need to look towards the network and you to to calculate value of resistance that is rth what i did i removed rl i want to look towards the network from this end and then using any method we have to calculate value of equivalent resistance but one important rule whenever you are calculating rth uh, that is thevenin's equivalent resistance look at the sources if source in the network is voltage source short circuited if it is current source open circuited i have a voltage source in the network so i have to short circuit it short circuit it means simply put a wire over there replace that voltage source by a simple wire it is called as short circuit condition now i have to calculate rth recall the basics i have shown the arrow like this that means we have to start doing calculations from the other end very simple logic this was the end at which our rl was connected i have removed that rl always and always start doing calculation from the remaining end that means from this end now apply the simple tricks this 5 ohm and 10 ohm they are in two different wires so they are in parallel so i'll be writing like this it is 5 parallel 10 i hope you are aware how to do this sign indicates parallel i hope you are aware how to do the parallel calculation it is simply 5 into 10 divided by 5 plus 10 so it is 3.33 ohms what i did i took 5 and 10 in parallel very simple logic 
this is a ladder network so if first combination is parallel second is in series if there is one more say third then again it is parallel and so on always it is alternate so if first combination is parallel that's what we discussed next remaining resistance is 3 ohm it is in series with this value so simply i can write rth is equals to 3 plus 3 means this resistance plus 3.33 which is equals to 6.33 ohm. This is the value of RTH. Now, from the exam point of view, you need to mention like this, for the maximum power transfer, RL is equals to RTH. That means value of RL is equals to 6.33 ohm. This is the answer of this numerical. Now, let us solve one more numerical to get this concept more clear. The next problem is find the value of load resistance that is RL similar to the earlier case to get maximum power transfer. This is an extra part also find maximum power consumed. Let us first complete this first part that is we need to calculate value of load resistance that means value of RL which is very much similar to the earlier part. Difference is that in the earlier numerical we had a voltage source here we have a current source that's the only difference. Now first step. We need to remove RL, so I will remove RL. From this end, I have to look towards the network. While calculating RTH, like the previous numerical, we need to follow only two rules. What are those rules? Remove RL, then check the circuit. If in the remaining circuit, there is a voltage source, short circuit it. If there is a current source, open circuit it. Only two simple rules. Now, after removing RL, there is a current source which is remaining in the circuit. I need to open circuit it. Open circuit means simply remove this current source. Mark these two points at open circuit. OC. One more basic concept. Whenever there is an open circuit, current will not flow through this, that branch. That means the current will not flow through this one ohm. So even if one ohm is shown in the diagram, it's of no use because current is not flowing through this. That means I have to neglect one ohm while doing the calculation. So I am neglecting this part. I have to calculate RTH since this part is neglected as if it is not con uh, present in the circuit. So this 5 ohm and 3 ohm, they are in the same wire. That means they are in series. So I will write it like this. RTH is equals to 5 plus 3, which is equals to 8 ohm. What we learned to get the maximum power transfer the value of RL that is load resistance must be equals to RTH that means in this case RL is equals to 8 ohm. This is the answer of first part. Now second part. To calculate the second part we have to consider the original diagram. There was a current source in the original diagram that was 5 ampere. RL was connected like this RL is the load resistance recall the formula to calculate the maximum power the formula to calculate maximum power is P max is equals to VTH square upon 4 RL we have already calculated the value of RL which is 8 ohm we need to calculate value of VTH VTH is called as Thevenin's equivalent voltage how to do it to calculate VTH remove RL let us mark some points. I will say this point is A, this point is B. Now, voltage present between these two points A and B is VTH, that is Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Using any technique, I need to calculate VTH. Look at the diagram. This is a 5 ampere current source. So, current will flow like this. This is a current division point. From this point, division of current should take place but but this is open circuited i have simply written it is vth but it is open circuited just now we discussed the concept whenever there is open circuit current will not flow through the, that branch that means through pi ohm current will not flow so it should be neglected because it is open circuit so naturally since this is neglected that means as if it is not present in the circuit this vth will be same voltage between these two points. So I will mark points AB now over here because this is neglected. So in another simple language now we 
pH is voltage between points A and B. We know the basic formula of voltage according to Ohm's law. V is equals to I into R. So in this case, V means voltage VTH is equals to which current is flowing? Do remember, we have neglected it as if this is not present. So same current 5 ampere flows through this. So I will write current is equals to 5 ampere into R. R means this resistance, only this resistance. We won't be considering 1 ohm because VTH is present across 3 ohm only. So it is 5 into 3 that is equals to 15 volt. This is the value of VTH, very simple. Now, last part, simply put the values, that is P max is equals to VTH square upon 4 RN. VTH is 15, so I will write 15 square upon 4 RN. Value of RN we have calculated, it is equals to 8 ohm. So do this calculation on the calculator, this answer will be 7.03. Since it is power, its unit is back. Dear students, as far as Maximum power transfer is concerned. These are the two possible variations in the numerical. You just have to calculate RL or along with RL, you just have to calculate value of P max that is maximum power consumed. So that's it for today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you very much.